Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and today I'm going to show you how to make healthy breakfast sausage balls to put in your freezer. This recipe is part of my four weeks to fill your freezer series. If you have missed any of the videos, check the link in the description. I've got the playlist all ready for you to check out. Now this is a slightly healthier version of like those sausage balls you might find on other websites. This has whole wheat flour, first of all, so it's got a lot of the fiber, a little bit more protein in it. I'm also using turkey sausage, and turkey sausage has less calories and fat than regular pork sausage. I also have cheese, but hey, I mean, little cheese never hurt anybody. This recipe makes a ton so if you don't even plan on freezing it, this would be good for like parties, any get-togethers, any brunches, or you could just like keep them for yourself. I could probably eat the entire batch. They are that good. They're pretty similar to biscuits and how you make them, very similar in ingredients. They freeze super easily and you can easily like pull out a couple at a time overnight or even that morning to put them in the microwave and eat them for breakfast. So with all that being said, let me show you how they're made. So the first thing we'll do is start cooking the sausage. I have Butterball Fresh Turkey Breakfast Sausage. I like using turkey sausage rather than pork sausage because it has less calories, it has less saturated fat. I think it's a slightly healthier option. I've also got the oven preheated to 400 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let the sausage cook for a few minutes. While the sausage is cooking, we can go ahead and start adding more ingredients to a bowl to start mixing. And right here, I've got two cups of whole wheat flour. So I have gotten a few questions about this recipe. People ask, well, how is this recipe healthy? I mean, it's sausage balls, it's got sausage and cheese. Well, the flour is whole wheat, so yes, it's gonna have a lot more fiber. It's also gonna have a little bit of protein as well, so that helps with the health factor. I'm also using turkey sausage. I am using cheese in it, but they're also not meant to be eaten alone. You can also serve it with a side of fruit, some scrambled eggs, even like a side of veggies to go with it. So after the flour, I will add a half teaspoon of salt and then four teaspoons of baking powder. Now that we've added these ingredients, I'm going to put this in my KitchenAid mixer. We're gonna mix it all together. So as you can see, this is pretty much a biscuit mix. So once you mix this a little bit, you're gonna cut in some butter. You will need four tablespoons of butter. This came right out of the fridge, so it's nice and cold. So I'm just going to cut it in a little bit at a time until it's pretty much broken down and they're kind of in small pea-sized shapes. Now you may have to go back and forth between mixing this and cooking the sausage. It's only been a few minutes and the sausage is almost cooked. So the biscuit dough is looking pretty good. So to this, we're going to add a half cup of milk. We'll let that mix for about 30 seconds to a minute. And as you can see, it doesn't have to be perfectly like all mixed together. It is a little bit crumbly, but we're gonna add the sausage and cheese to it here in a minute, and that will help it stick together a lot better. So the sausage has been fully cooked and drained, so I'm just going to add all of it to the bowl, and then I'm gonna add two cups of shredded cheddar, and then we will mix that just long enough for it to be all mixed together. And this is actually freshly grated cheese. I like the texture of this better, but you can also use just a bag of regular pre-shredded. Either one will work just fine. And then let's turn this back on again for just a minute. All right, this looks done. It is smelling amazing. Let's go roll these up and get them on a cookie sheet. Now here comes the fun part, rolling up every single one of these into little balls to bake. So this recipe makes about 48 and I use a little cookie scoop. You can use gloves if you want, it might be a little bit warm, but I just washed my hands so I'll be okay. So what you do is scoop out a little bit into your hand and then just kind of form it into a ball shape. Actually, it's not very hot right now because that cheese was cold, so that helped to cool the sausage quite a bit. So 
Just keep going until you have about 48 of these. Like I said before, you can eat these by themselves. They're not very high in calories, so you would need to eat quite a few. However, you could eat maybe a couple at a time along with some scrambled eggs. You could have a banana to go with it or maybe even some cottage cheese. This has a good mix of protein, fat, and carbs. And a good combination of all three of those will help keep you full for a lot longer. I would probably eat about three or four of these along with like something else. So that's your typical serving size. And since it makes 48 of them, they'd be good for feeding a crowd or even like for freezing. So you can freeze this entire batch and just get out a few at a time. It'll last you forever. So this batch made about 40 and that's okay. Like each one, it's not gonna be the same size. It's gonna be all right. So we're gonna put these in the oven for 10 minutes and then they'll be done. So after 10 minutes, it looks like these are fully cooked and ready to cool. So once these cool completely, you can do a couple of things with them. You can put them in just a standard Rubbermaid container and you can eat them throughout the week. Or actually, if you want to freeze them, you can actually leave them on these cookie sheets with the parchment paper. Just freeze them this way. Make sure that they are separated so they don't freeze together. Then you can put them in a giant gallon sized freezer bag. When you're ready to eat them, you can get out a couple overnight and let them thaw in the fridge. Or you can put them frozen in the microwave for maybe like 40 seconds at a time and that way they will be ready to eat. But these are perfect and I can't wait to dig in. I've got a printable recipe for this down in the description. It's totally free for you to print out. Also, if you want all of my four weeks to fill your freezer recipes in one convenient spot, I have created an ebook just for you. So if you go to the link in my description, you'll be able to purchase that as well. I've also got a special discount code below, so make sure you don't miss it. Also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be notified whenever I post more meal planning tips, grocery hauls, and recipes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.